Bases and salts. Acids, bases, and natural indicators. What are we buying today? We will be buying some oranges today. I like oranges, but they are sour. Well, that is because they have citric acid in them. What is that? Let me tell you about acids then. We consume various substances such as salt, vinegar and fruits that may have different tastes like salty, sour and sweet. These substances have different tastes because the chemical nature of these substances is different. Hence we can classify substances based on their chemical nature. The substances that contain acids are called acidic substances. Acids are sour in taste. We have many sour substances in our kitchen such as lemon, oranges, vinegar and curd. These substances contain natural acids or acidic substances which are responsible for their sour taste. Let's learn about the common natural acids found in plants and animals. Acetic acid is found in vinegar. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C is found in amla and other citrus fruits like oranges. Citric acid is found in lemons and oranges. Malic acid is found in apples. Oxalic acid is found in spinach. Tannic acid is found in tea. Tartaric acid is found in tamarind, grapes and raw mangoes. Lactic acid is found in curd. Apart from these, formic acid is found in ant stings and bee stings. Hydrochloric acid is found in gastric juice present in the stomach. So mama, what are the properties of acids? Let me tell you about them. Acids are sour in taste. They are corrosive in nature, they conduct electricity, they are water soluble. Based on the amount of water present in acids, they can be dilute or concentrated. Are acids present in rainwater? Great question. They are sometimes present in rainwater which is known as acid rain. Acid rain contains unusually high amounts of acids. Harmful gases such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide are released into the air from industries or vehicles. Also, evaporation of water takes place from the nearby water bodies which form clouds. During rainfall, these gases mix with rainwater and form sulfuric acid, nitric acid and carbonic acid respectively. These acids make rainwater acidic and cause huge damage to buildings, crops, marine life and historical monuments. Oh, is that the reason why the Taj Mahal is turning yellow? You are right. Unfortunately, it is true. Let us go home now. We can continue there. Sure, Mama. Do you remember that one time you tried tasting baking soda and said that it was so bitter. Yes, I remember. But why was it bitter? Well, substances like baking soda taste bitter and feel soapy on rubbing between fingers. These chemical substances that taste bitter and feel soapy to touch are called bases. The substances that contain bases are called basic substances. Let me tell you about the properties of bases. Bases are bitter in taste and soapy to touch. They are corrosive. They conduct electricity. They may or may not be soluble in water. Let me tell you about some commonly used bases. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are present in soaps. 
aluminium hydroxide is present in window cleaning solutions. Calcium hydroxide is present in lime. Wow! Now I know about acids and bases. But I want to know how to identify whether a given substance is an acid or a base. To identify acids and bases, we use indicators. The substances that indicate whether a given substance is an acid or a base are called indicators. Indicators may be naturally occurring like litmus, turmeric and petals of china rose. These substances can change their color when they are added to an acidic or a basic solution. The color change depends upon the acidic or basic nature of the substance. The indicators that occur naturally are called natural indicators. Let me tell you about some natural indicators. Litmus Litmus is a natural indicator obtained from lichen. Litmus is available in solution form or as blue and red strips of paper. If we take two blue litmus papers and place them in two beakers, one with an acid and one with a base, the blue litmus paper in the acid will change to red and the blue litmus paper in the base will not change color. Now, if we take two red litmus papers and place them in two beakers, one with an acid and one with a base again, the red litmus paper in the acid will not change color, but the red litmus paper in the base will change to blue. Turmeric Turmeric is a natural indicator that is a common kitchen ingredient. We can make a solution by adding turmeric powder to water. In acidic medium, it is yellow and in basic medium, it turns reddish brown. China Rose or Hibiscus China Rose or Hibiscus is another natural indicator. When warm water is added to the petals of China Rose, a pink solution is formed. This solution acts as an indicator. When this indicator is added to an acidic solution, its color changes to dark pink and when it is added to a basic solution, it turns green. Wow! This is how we can identify acids and bases. So interesting! Well, I'm glad. I hope this helped you to understand more about acids and bases. Yes, Mama. So through this video, we learnt about the following. Acids are sour in taste. They are found in plants as well as in animals. Acid rain contains sulfuric acid, nitric acid and carbonic acid which cause damage to buildings, crops, marine life and historical monuments. Bases are bitter in taste and soapy to touch. Indicators are the substances that help to identify whether a given substance is an acid or a base. Litmus, turmeric and china rose petals are examples of naturally occurring indicators. Activity time Let us perform an activity to understand acids and bases even better. With the supervision of an adult, show the color change in the case of acids and bases using litmus solution, turmeric and hibiscus as indicators. Record the process and your observations before, during and after the experiments and discuss it in your class. Also write down the names of three common acids and bases that can be found in every home. Through this activity, the learners are able to focus on the following skills. Scientific reasoning, productivity, conceptualization, memorization.